Hey, hi there, this is Patrick for Fans Live on Hoha Sports and this time we are joining the away team with the uh, Arsenal supporters here at Harry's Cafe as Arsenal travel to meet Spurs at White Hart Lane for the 160-something North London derby. Well, both teams have uh, finally found some footing in the season. Uh, of course, the luck seems to be more siding towards Spurs, but uh, Chelsea, I mean, Arsenal have come back in recent weeks. So let's join the Arsenal fans and see what's happening because they are just starting to boo because they are showing the Spurs guys. It's quite normal. Uh, it's one of those things. I'm, a, You know who I am, but I can't be wearing the jersey. But quietly, I've got something here. Quietly, we'll save it for later, all right? So let's join the Arsenal guys here at Harry's Cafe and we check out the reaction from the first half. Right spot halfway through the first half, pretty much even Stevens. But just of the last five minutes, Arsenal have been putting on the pressure, but they've been giving away the balls in the middle of the park. So it's still Tottenham nil, Arsenal nil, and we'll join the Arsenal fans here and see the rest of the first half on what happens here at Harry's Cafe. Oh, it's about the 40th minute. Tottenham Hotspur draw first blood, Rafael van der Vaart through a mistake in the midfield by Arsenal and uh, Spurs are in the lead. It's Spurs 1, Arsenal 0. And that's half time here at uh, Harry's Cafe with the Arsenal fans. Uh, a little bit disjointed because uh, performance not that good in terms of uh, the midfield. One person in particular, Aaron Ramsey, a lot of frustration there. We'll come back and uh, speak to the Arsenal guys at halftime about a couple of chances that they missed, but more importantly about Aaron Ramsey's uh, performance in the midfield. But as it stands at halftime, it's first one Arsenal nil together with the Arsenal fans here at Harry's Cafe. All right, it's halftime together with the Arsenal fans here at Harry's Cafe next to the brand new Perodua Myvi 1.5 Extreme. I'm here with Kuma and also Pasupati. One nil Spurs leading. Kuma, what's your reaction towards the first half? A lot of frustration inside there. Yeah, we have got uh, actually good chances in the first half, especially from the Javinio and the Walcott. Uh, Walcott. Uh, it's okay, we will come back on the second half mm. with some changes. We will... I think Wenger have to change Ramsey to Ashawin or Rosiki on the second half. Okay. Uh, Pasupati, you know, the couple of chances, uh, Theo Walcott had two good chances, yeah. but you know, it was just a bit off. But the biggest one was Javinho. Yeah, this is uh, very, very disappointing, you know. So if we got score, I mean, the, change, the game will sure will change. Yeah. In the second half, I think uh, Arsenal will win. Then I uh, have to replace my, like my friend said just now, have to change. Uh, Ramsey first got, he got, uh, today his performance like disappointing us, then I uh, have to replace him with uh, Rosiski or Ashavin. Okay, then uh, talking about on the on the right back, San, uh, Bakari Sanya, he's having a tough time trying to contain Modric and also Gareth Bale. Uh, do you think uh, they need somebody support there or is Murta Saka not helping Sanya enough? Actually, Sanya doing his job with very good. I think uh, Mateseka and Song will help him on the uh, left back. Uh, that's, that's it. Lah. Yeah. And then uh, there's this fella you know, used to play for your call Adabayo. He normally scores against Spurs. Now he's playing for the other side. What do you think of him you know, playing against Arsenal? Uh, I hope today he won't score. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Lah. I, I see that the fella, I feel like, ah, like that. No? <laughs> I don't know. He got lucky. You know? It's always got lucky to score against Arsenal. Uh, then hope he won't score this game and uh, I hope and he will, Arsenal will come back. Well, it normally happens that way. 1-0, not really a Spurs-Arsenal kind of game. It's normally very high scoring. I still think it's going to end up in a draw. But we'll find out as we join Kuma, Pasupati and the rest of the Arsenal fans inside Harry's Cafe. <laughs> Alive. 
And the guy who got a lot of slack in the first half, Aaron Ramsey, equalizes for Arsenal. Right, it's halfway through the second half. It's uh, Spurs 1, Arsenal 1. And uh, just looking at the game right after the goal, uh, scored by Arsenal, the equaliser. It's all been Arsenal. Spurs can't seem to get the ball, but they're now with an attack. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's a one-all score right now. We'll find out what happens in the rest of the second half. Hope it's going to be a couple of more goals. Should be exciting here together with the Arsenal fans. A little bit tensed up. But we'll find out what happens in the next half of the second half. And that's it. They had all the opportunity, but looks like the final score at White Hart Lane, it's Spurs 2, Arsenal 1, and the fans are totally, totally frustrated with the performance. We'll find out with them what their take is about Arsenal's performance throughout the whole match and what's it going to be like for Arsenal for the rest of the season coming up with the Arsenal fans here at Harry's Cafe. Right, it's our full-time report together with the Arsenal fans here at Harry's Cafe. You know, as for me, so looking at that match, it was very frustrating. But let's speak to Anwar and also Sheikh. But first, Anwar, pendapat uh, anda first uh, sec, the overall performance lah untuk Arsenal. Uh, bad, bad and okay in some place. Ada yang okay, ada yang teruk. Uh, example, defense is a very good performance. Also, keeper. Credit to Chesney, but. For Aaron Ramsey, he's going from hero to zero. It's a bad performance from him. And of course, kita tengok, bila kita tengok midfield, Mikael Ateta, always very frustrated because he got nobody to pass to. Either Aaron Ramsey is dropped too much to the back or he's nowhere to be found. Uh, what do you think, uh, Sheikh? Because I think uh, Aaron Ramsey played, uh, played really bad today. He should be uh, covering the defence uh, because he's CDM, right? But uh, he's always lost in position. Uh, tapi kita boleh tengok uh, start uh, Arsenal punya mentality down bila Sania injured. When Sania has injury, uh, dia memang kacau uh, sistem kita lah. Masuk pula Jackinson, memang Jackinson uh, inexperienced lah actually. Uh. But looking at the system itself, there was a lot of uh, frustration with the 4-5-1. You know, do you think Arsenal should change that after this lesson? I think we should because we have Pak, Ch Pak Chu Yang. We have a, another striker. A good striker one. We should play 4-4-2 four, 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 because we put Wembasi and Pak Chuyang in front and then put uh, Javinho and Walcott. That's okay. Also, Javinho can replace by Ashavin. That's a good one. And Javinho also can swap flanks together with yes. Theo Walcott. So it gives it uh, more more options for, for the striking part. But then looking at this, uh, Arsenal looking at the table now, they have sunk to the very lower part of the bottom half. It's going to be one week off because of the internationals. A lot of Arsenal players will be playing in the internationals. What do you think is going to happen after they come back from the break? Uh, saya rasa uh, uh, bila international ni selalu player Arsenal dia akan perform. So I hope uh, they get the what they call lah uh, mentality, winning mentality actually. Ha. I hope they get that lah. And, and that also was missing in the match. They're not really uh, desperate for the ball. They're not chasing the ball. That's a huge. Is it a is it a confidence thing or is it inexperience? I think uh, it's both. Uh, we have a very young player, inexperienced one, but we have a experienced player like Wembasi. But they have they the they, they don't they don't have the people to feed them the ball from the midfield. So I think uh, like uh, Ramsey. If he can play with, uh, well with Wales, he also can play well with Arsenal. But uh, seeing he can cannot play well with Wales, so I don't think so. He Maybe will... he should just play for Wales. That's it. He's only he's only an international, not a club player. Just one final question for the Arsenal uh, fans here, because when you look at the official Arsenal Facebook page, there's a lot of uh, bashering for uh, Arsene Wenger. So we just want to take uh, Anwar's uh, take on it and also Sheikh's take on it. Arsene Wenger, where does your fate lie in him with this kind of a performance and uh, where Arsenal are in the table right now? Okay, from the beginning of the league, uh, from two games, I'm not very confident with Arsene Wenger. After he buy, he buy uh, a lot of players, now I think Arsene Wenger should be in Arsenal for maybe for two to three years. For another two, three years? Yes. Okay, what about you, Sheikh? Arsene Wenger in, out, should stay? I, I think uh, uh, Wenger should stay because uh, he's the greatest manager in Arsenal history. Uh, he's, uh, he's 
he has invisible in in his hand, right? But uh, I think uh, we should trust in him. Right, so there you heard it from the Arsenal fans here in Malaysia. They leave their trust in Arsene Wenger. So, final score right here, not very good for the Arsenal fans, but it's 2-1 to Spurs and uh, that's the end of the North London Derby here on Fans Live.